This is it. This is the camping area that we're going to be spending a night of camping at. It's uh, kind of close to the road, so it's not ideal, but it has a great feature. It's really close to a trailhead that is just there, and I'll show you around. So one of the big highlights of this camping site is the trailhead here. It goes to a beautiful trail, but other than that, there is a kind of a really awesome field that the trail starts out at. And it's perfect for finding a little hiding spot to go ahead and just sit and try to watch some nature go by. All the leaves that have just come out, put it out just less than a week ago. And it's amazing how fast that happens. Everything goes from kind of a dark gray to beautiful green in just a very short while. Here's the start of the trail. And we have a beautiful field that we can watch for deer. And then there's this cute little stream it's got muskrats and possibly beavers. When I had visited this place on previous camping trips, I had been lucky to see a lot of wildlife there in that field. And it's a pleasure just to get some fresh air and sun and see all the beautiful greenery and maybe catch a glimpse or two of some really awesome animals. Just to give you a, a quick view of the camping spot itself, it has pretty much nothing but an open grassy area and a little fire pit, and that's it. It's pretty rustic. Often the first thing I do when I get to camp is set out the solar panel to keep the refrigerator running with as much sun energy as I can muster. There's not gonna be a lot of it today. It's kind of pretty cloudy, but I'll be happy to get whatever I can get. I'll go ahead and give you a really quick tour of my camper van. I do have a video, another video, that's dedicated just to going through that in detail. But uh, at that time, I didn't have a lot of the daily use things in there just to make things less cluttered and more clear. So I'll go ahead and just give you a quick walkthrough here. Uh, in the front here, I have the front area just for storing odds and ends. I have a camp chair and this is a stand for my solar panels if I'm not mounting them on the car and the car is in shade. And here's a little storage unit. Coming in on the inside, uh, we have storage area drawers. I've got food items and pantry, clothes, camera gear, more clothes. Refrigerator here, I have it covered so that the sun stays off of it. Uh, this is a little yoga chair that I use for sitting on the bench over here. This cooler is tied into uh, the heating system of the van. I have a rear auxiliary heater and uh, you can see back here that 
This is the heating vent and here's an exhaust vent. And when the temperatures are extremely cold, it's really nice for me to be able to warm up the inside of this cooler so that I can store anything I don't want to freeze in there. On the inside of the cooler during warm weather, pretty much all that's in here is a port john On the uh, inside of the camper, I have insulated shades. They roll up when they're not in use. Um, this is a camp kitchen. And this is my sink unit, which is portable. I can take it inside or, or take it outside. My power units here, little Sojens, a little storage drawer area unit thing. I have a pressure washer for, for washing dishes. Looking way in the back, uh, this little gas tank holds diesel, and it's for a diesel heater that I have mounted under the unit here. Looking at things way in the back, I have two little storage units. Uh, this one here is pretty much just containing all extra stuff, like extra batteries. And then uh, this one here is solely dedicated to a first aid kit. That's a car size one. And I also have two other sizes of first aid kits. One would be just a pocket one that I carry hiking. And another one in my day pack is a little larger that I add to the pocket pack. It just has more contents. And that's pretty much a grand tour of the place. Well, I decided to turn my car around because it's pretty obvious I'm not going to be getting a lot of morning sun from here. So I'm going to maximize what I can get from here until sunset. I just wanted to point out that uh, I can mount the solar panel in a number of different ways. When I mounted it on the front windshield, you saw me using suction cups. Um, when I mounted it in other places of the car, uh, what's really strong is to mount it on magnets. So I, uh, I go ahead and I have these, these magnets with carabiners attached and I just use those and it works pretty well. By having a little more time to look around the campsite, I came across something that's actually pretty cool. The last time I was here, this entire area here had been all wooded, and now it's pretty bare. And so, let's go take a look at what's going on. Well, I know where the water came from now. And I know why all the wooded stuff is gone. If you look way over there, there's a brand new beaver dam. Now, the second thing I do to set up camp, if conditions call for it, I'll go ahead and pull out a small standalone screen house and I'll set up in that. And even though it's pretty nice out now, uh, it's gonna get down there tonight. It's gonna, it's gonna be in the 40s. So what this greenhouse does is I put some side panels up on there and it gives me a windbreak. So even though I don't really need it for shade or bugs right now, uh, just having a little bit of a windbreak at night is really helpful to stay warm. And that's pretty much all there is to setting up camp. <laughs> if I want to get this elaborate, it usually only takes me about 15 minutes. It's, it's really pretty quick. And uh, all the conveniences of home in a minimalist setup, which is 
all I could ask for. I wouldn't want any complications. I'll give you a quick little tour. This is uh, what the inside looks like. I have a pressure sprayer for water. I have dish soap in there. This is my little camp kitchen, which uh, has all my cooking utensils in here. And this is a little portable sink. I'll show you how that works a little better in a minute. But the only other thing I want to point out is the fact that I have a, a windscreen panel up here. So tonight, when it gets down to about 40 degrees, I'll still be really comfortable. I'll go and demonstrate a little bit about how the portable sink works. It's really nice to be able to use it both in the van or out. And essentially, it's this simple. Uh, the structure itself is just a styrofoam enclosure that's made for in-sealing light insulation. And so you can pick these up at Home Depot or whatever. And this is both a sink and a gray water catch. And what it is, is uh, an oil change pan for low items like motorcycles. So it holds a few days worth of wash water, that's for sure. It, I don't have to empty it very often. And... Um, so it has this indentation in it for the sink portion and also catches my gray water. Um, essentially, what I'm using water for most is either drinking or hand washing. And so this is essentially a hand washing station first and a dishwashing station second to uh, go ahead and show you how the hand washing portion works. Uh, this is uh, an aqua valve that's sold as a water saving uh, valve that uh, will open up when you push this. It opens the valve up in there. So basically you don't have to touch anything to turn the water on. With soapy hands all you do is bump this and you have rinse water coming out. I'll go ahead and fill it up and show you how it works. I have uh, <clears throat> water from the pressure sprayer. And uh, this is really a water saver also because I don't have an open spigot. So that'll be enough water for one day actually. So I'll go ahead and put it back in upside down. And basically, if you need to wash your hands, you can go ahead and spray soap on. <clears throat> wash your hands. Hit the spigot. Get enough to rinse off of. As soon as you're rinsed off, you're done. And you haven't used much water at all.
Well, hello. I just got back in the van after being out doing some photography today. And I had the most amazing night. Got some amazing footage. And I'm so happy with that. So it's uh, it's going to be Miller time now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go find myself a nice cold beer. Well, look at this. I did manage to find myself a nice cold beer. But... I've got to warm up some before I take these clothes off. So, well, right here, uh, I've got the control for my diesel heater. And we just fired that thing up. It's going to be nice and toasty in here. Well, I've taken some time to look over the film that I got tonight, and it's really great. I'm going to be sharing a lot of that in an upcoming program. When you're in a space this small, it's really important to stay ventilated because uh, your breath has nowhere to go, moisture has nowhere to go. You're going to end up with condensation if you don't have fresh air. So I have the windows cracked open, I'm at, my roof vent is, is fully open, and uh, even so, uh, it's very comfortably warm in here. Um, I have insulating panels up over the side door have uh, insulating panels up closing off the front area to go ahead and show you how my bed is set up I take my chair and a couple of tabs that are attached to the bench here I'll just set that right in there and to level it out, I have this other little cushion. And that's pretty much all I need. For the rest of the bed, it's actually pretty simple. Not much to it. The foam pad that I put down is a thermorest pad that you normally find that's common in with backpackers or car campers. So here we have the Thermarest blow up. It's uh, a trail light and uh, it's a little heavy for backpacking but it's fine for car camping. It's actually very comfortable. I probably have at least an inch of cushioning over here. So it does well for me. And this is my pillow. So. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, not like a pillow from home, but uh, this thing will blow up and keep me comfortable all night long. So that's my bed setup, except for the sleeping bag. And this thing is good down to about 40 degrees. It's rated for 32, but don't believe that. <laughs> I think they rate things a little weird as far as sleeping bags go. But uh, it is good down to 40, and uh, even without the heat running uh, in the van here, it'll stay at least uh, 5 to 10 degrees warmer than a than it, than it is outside, so I'll be real comfortable in this tonight. And that's it, sleeping bag, pads, I'm good to go. Have a good night.